Hi my lovely friends, it's Marta here. This is gonna blow your mind, but look what I've just created. I was playing and I was testing a new things and I came across how to create this beautiful, super shiny sparkly panels, which I will just share with you in a second. So let's jump into the video. So my lovely friends, this uh, hot transfer foil has been around for a while and I actually am not inventing anything new. Uh, probably some of you may already seen that technique, uh, but uh, this all happened thanks to a happy accident uh, when I left a little piece of the glue on the scrap of the paper and then I had a leftover foil which stick to it and I thought like oh I just want to play with them so I'm gonna show you a couple of the cards and I already have few more techniques to uh, in my head to to show you but I'm just gonna make this video uh, quite short because I wanted to edit and post it and then I need to pick up my son from the nursery so what I'm thinking uh, I want to create a little bit a uh, couple of the cards for the Christmas combinations because whenever it's festive time I always find myself a little bit more courage to uh, you know go with more bold color and shininess sparkliness so I thought this foil technique will be great for creating the Christmas cards and maybe uh, once we uh, some of you may already start working on the Christmas card that could be a little bit of inspiration and this techniques will be good for uh, for mass producing as well I'm starting off from cutting a panel and then I use a piece of uh, uh, like a stiff brush and um, a PVA glue. I've placed everything on this uh, clean mat which I have from the craft stash and this way I won't have to scrub my glass mat afterward. afterwards. Now I'm doing it on the piece of the uh, spare spare piece of the white cardstock instead of the directly on a card because sometimes the moisture from the glue can warp your paper so i would rather recommend you to do it on the spare piece and then adhere it to your card rather than do it directly on a card front once i've placed my uh, hot foil i did a little bit run with my roller just to make sure i'm gonna get rid of any air bubble and make sure you know i could get as much from the foil as i as i as i can now for the second technique i'm going to be using a sponge uh, sometimes you can you know paint with the sponge uh, and this will give you this nice kind of a bubbly effect so i wanted to try it over here make sure you're gonna have your piece of the foil ready on hand because you don't wanna your glue start to you know drying and then you're gonna be looking for a foil and trying to to cut it so i've cut myself a piece ready to go and the second i've stopped you know um, adding the glue i am just pressing it and exactly the same uh, as i did with the previous panel I am just rolling it over uh, to squeeze out any air bubbles and these two panels I will leave them to dry. Now this is the technique which is probably most most well known and it's been used here for uh, for many times is just adding the strips with the uh, double-sided tape. I want my strips to look nice and neat and for that here's the trick what you can do. I'm placing my paper on the um, scoring board and I do because my tape is a one quarter of the inch I am following uh, with the scoring lines which are exactly one quarter of the inch. So once I will be placing my um, strips these will be hardly the scoring lines will be hardly visible but the, is, uh, this lines provide me with the perfect guide so uh, i am having this equal spacing and everything is just looking nice and neat and this is just something which you know helps you to achieve more professional look rather than uh, you know um, trying to even it out and it's never look even when you're trying to do it of hand unless you're actually aiming for the for the result but if you would like to have this neat spacing then this is what you can do and if you would like to have a larger space you can then you know uh, make two scoring lines like one quarter of the the inch then make yourself one inch gap and then again one quarter of the inch so you could have the spacing for your strips uh, as much white as you can so what i did i've made sure i've put all the strips 
and here I am trimming the excess. If I could recommend you something, uh, I've grabbed my paper scissor and this is no go. Uh, so that's why I'm switching them for another one because I don't want to have the glue residue on my uh, scissors. But uh, the thing I, I wanted to say to you is that I recommend you to create slightly um, wider panels than you plan to put them on your card because uh, if those edges, usually when you try to lift the release paper, sometimes this glue tend to uh, twist a little bit. So it's always good to have this spare uh, two, three millimeters you can chop from the side. So you will have this absolutely beautiful and neat result. Here I am placing my, mm, my foil on top of that and then I'm just going over uh, with the finger and I'm just pressing uh, over the each of the glue strips so I could make sure that all the foil uh, from the behind it will just you know nicely adhere to the tape and then I am gently revealing the foil foil and it's good idea to go under the angle the same way as you will be ripping your washi tape or masking tape from the paper and this beautiful panel is ready I didn't want to waste any of the blue color material so I came up with another uh, idea what I could do uh, to you know use up the rest of the blue color uh, foil so for that I am grabbing the double-sided sticky sheets which I have and then I am just uh, marking myself where to cut and I am cutting the exactly same panel as as the piece of the card I'm having so for that uh, I'm, I'm gonna you know adhere everything on the top so once i have it done here's the trick how you can very easily adhere your double-sided uh, you know uh, sheets on top of your paper just release one inch or one centimeter from the side and then just once you reveal your paper from underneath you gently pushing your your hand on top of that and this way you will never end up with having any like air bubbles once i have it ready make sure you burn it out so uh, you know very well burnish it to uh, so it will stay nice and sticky and then i am placing my blue color panel on top of that and again i am repeating the same step with my finger i'm just going over each line and just making sure it it will adhere nicely so my lines has been adhered and on the places where there was no foil to transfer the surface still stays sticky so for that i am adding additional piece of the red foil and here's what happened the foil was a little bit uh, destroyed and uh, once i was revealing it I had this little uneven surface, which I didn't like. You can see here, this is the white uh, white thing here. I think it was just, uh, you know, something wrong with the, with the glue sheet. Uh, it's not been like properly gluing on that side. So I thought, why not prevent it from happening uh, by creating the more distressed look? This way, the panel doesn't have to be super perfect, but, uh, you know, it will still look nice. And here is where I'm creating the panel, which I showed you at the beginning. So I'm starting the exactly the same way. I am cutting myself a double-sided sheet up to the size of this panel I have, and then I'm just pressing it. It was a little bit wider. The white, uh, white cardstock was a little bit wider on the side, but I will trim it anyway. And now I am distressing my fold by squeezing it and just making you know couple a, a little bit uh, ruffle crinkles so this way i have this nicely distressed look and you can see here it instantly just looking beautiful but i've decided to mix it up with the with the uh, green color so that will be more christmasy color composition i am you know crinkling the second foil and then again i'm placing it and make sure i burnish it really really well and then uh, once I reveal it, uh, I still had some uh, white bits here and there, which I thought, mm, I need to do something about that. It's not as, as you know, as everything, um, you know, all the surface, um, you know, is, um, cover. So for that, I've decided to add the gold. And once I was burnishing the gold on top of that, and I press really, really hard, this transfer it, it 
on top of everything so here you can see how beautiful this uh, panel turned out and i really recommend you if you've got the foil two three colors just play with them here uh, it's uh, you know long enough so for this first two panels to dry so i'm revealing those strips and now i really regret i didn't add more glue but this was just test run so i will know for next time to be more generous with the brush strokes so here is my panels and now because i still have got those leftovers i didn't want to you you know throw them away because it's still good material so i thought why not create one more panel uh, so for that i'm grabbing the piece of the white scrap paper i had and again i will be reaching for this double-sided uh, sheet of the adhesive so uh, i am adhering it and uh, once I will do it, I've decided to try to go with a little bit more marble effect. And for that, I really, really would like to have this white color foil. I need to buy it. I've already looked on it online and uh, I will be ordering it because this technique, especially the, the last uh, uh, panel I'm just showing you right now, this will be looking absolutely gorgeous if on top of everything you will cover it with the uh, white color foil. This is one of the favorite. I did it with silver and I must to tell you, my friends, I still love it very much, but I wish that could be a little bit more brighter. The silver turned uh, the whole panel a little bit darker so for that i think i would like to use the white foil instead of the silver but anyway here i am just randomly uh, tapping the excess and this is just something you can use your leftover pieces after you do your sentiments or something like that because uh, it doesn't have to be you know super perfect you just taking rid of the rest of the foils you have just keep them don't throw them away keep them in some box and then once in a while you will be able to create a bunch of this beautiful shiny sparkly um you know panels and then you can use them for cutting out your elements or uh, you know use them as a front panel or use them for cutting sentiments other bits as well so they will be looking lovely here i've decided i'm i want to try to go over with a little bit of the blue to add some extra blue color to it as well so i will have this nice color combination and uh, now if you're watching up till this point my friends please let me know if you like this technique and if you would like to try it in your this year christmas uh, cards you will be making and i would love to hear uh, what the color combination you would like so, to use so my friends let me just caption it uh, for a little bit closer photo this is what i end up with this is the paper which i uh, create using the um, brush technique i wish i put a little bit more generous layer but it's still gonna be looking nice uh, uh, anyway and i'm gonna turn it into the card i'm actually planning to turn all of them into the cards but because it's been already quite long what i'm gonna do i will finish off here and then i will come back with another part of the video for that and i will show you how am i turning these into the cards and this is the the one panel which sparked the idea for another one and then i start playing up with a little more and i really really like the uh, this distress look i do have the second one which is here and i don't like that this this one was coming like you know um coming off so this is what actually you know uh, spark the idea for me to go with more distress look which i'm super super happy this is by far one of my favorite panels and then this is the another one less structured and this one looks kind of like a marble but it's in this like a shiny surface as well so i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope this will spark some idea for you how you can play with your supplies and create something something new and experiment a little bit i'll see you on another video which i believe will be two on the friday and that's the floral video i'm doing this floral friday fridays now so after that i will come back and we're gonna create a lovely cart with these so thank you so much stay blessed my friends and bye bye